Okay, to start making our dough, we'll need 165 grams of flour. I'm using all purpose, but you can use whatever you have. 14 grams or one tablespoon of olive oil. Eight grams or one teaspoon of salt. A half cup or 120 grams of water. One teaspoon or eight grams of active dry or instant yeast. Add the yeast to the water. Add our olive oil and our salt. Now we can add this mixture to our flour and start combining our ingredients to make our dough. Mix the water and the flour until we have a rough dough. Before you start kneading the dough, you'll want to set a timer for 10 minutes. Flour our clean work surface and start to knead. I fold it back over itself, rotate 90 degrees, push away with the heel of my hand and keep repeating that process until the dough starts to become too sticky. And then I add a little flour and keep kneading. Once you've kneaded your dough for around 10 minutes and you've got a smooth, consistent dough, round it off into a ball. Add your dough to a well-oiled bowl, cover it, and let it rise for an hour. While we're waiting for our dough to rise, we can prepare our sauce. With whole peeled tomatoes, they come with a stem on it that you'll wanna remove. So I'm gonna do that and then crush these up. I like a really simple tomato sauce, so I'm only using oregano, salt, and olive oil, but feel free to use any spices that you like, chili flakes, dried basil, fresh basil, garlic powder, onion powder, whatever you want to add to your sauce, make it what you want. Once we have our sauce nice and crushed up and combined, we can go ahead and add that to our preheated pan.
While our sauce is cooking down, we can go ahead and prepare our cheese. I'm using low moisture whole milk mozzarella in the form of these Galbani string cheeses, but you can use whatever you want. If you want to use cheddar, go ahead and use cheddar. If you want to use pepper jack, that's fine. After an hour or our dough has doubled in size, we can go ahead and add it to our pan. I'm using a cast iron, but stainless steel would work just fine. If your dough doesn't want to reach the edge of the pan right away, go ahead and give it five minutes and then come back to it. But this should be plenty of dough to reach the edge of your pan. Once you've got the dough to the edge of the pan, go ahead and cover it and let it rise for another 30 minutes. I like a nice thick layer of sauce on this pizza. Once we have a nice layer of cheese all the way to the edge, I like to lay down my pepperonis. As you can see, I'm going to do a thick layer of pepperoni. You could even do more because once these cook down, they're gonna shrink up. Once we have our pizza assembled, we can pop this into the oven at 450 degrees for 15 minutes. After our pizza has been cooking for 15 minutes, go ahead and pull it out of the oven and put it on a stove on a medium burner. We want to cook this on the stove for about five to seven minutes just to get the bottom nice and crispy. throw it back in the oven to broil to crisp up these pepperonis and brown the cheese. 